What's up guys, in this video I'm going to talk about Derek Lewis versus Sergei Spivak, which is the upcoming main event of the next UFC card. For those of you who don't know me, my name is James Blissett, I'm a professional gambler and founder of Lucrative MMA, which is my handicapping service where I help people make money from betting it on MMA. And today I'm going to be speaking about this Lewis versus Spivak matchup, but I'm not going to go too in detail. I'm going to break it down pretty quickly because there's not much to talk about in my opinion. On the one hand, we've got Derek Lewis, who is a veteran in the UFC at this point. He's a household name. Everybody knows him. And he's coming in to try and knock out his opponent. If he doesn't get the knockout, he virtually loses every single time. If he doesn't get the lockout, knockout and he wins, it's usually an extremely close, dicey split decision where the fight could have gone either way. So what that means is if you are betting on Derek Lewis or watching a Derek Lewis fight, you're basically preying on him to get the KO, otherwise he can never really look value. On the other hand, we've got Sergei Spivak, who's actually surging in the division at the moment. Derek Lewis is on a bit of a downturn. He's lost his last two fights by knockout. And Sergei Spivak has actually won his last two fights by knockout, by ground and pound knockout, right? So he's on the he's on a surge at the moment in the UFC. And I was taking a look at their records, and I did tape study for this fight earlier. I did tape study for this fight like a couple of weeks ago, or a few months ago because they was booked. I can't remember exactly when it was, probably about four or five weeks ago. Um, maybe a little bit longer than six weeks ago now, actually. They was booked to fight each other and I done tape study on it there. And I kind of refreshed my memory because I got a bad memory. So oftentimes I do refresh my memory. And as I was watching their fights, as I was doing the uh, research for this fight, I, I, I saw myself actually rating Sergei Spivak a lot more than potentially I have done. And potentially the bookies and just the MMA community in general have done in the past couple of years you know he hasn't lost that many fights i think he's got some bad looks on his record because he did lose against walt harris really early and walt harris is a subpar ufc fighter i don't think he has a contract with the ufc anymore probably for about over a year now um he hasn't had a contract with the ufc so that's obviously a bad look he got knocked out in about two three minutes there but other than that he doesn't really have almost any losses on his record. I mean, he lost to Tom Aspinall. He got an early knockout there within like two minutes. But as we know, Tom Aspinall is, you know, a top five heavyweight in that division even now. So honestly, his two losses were against Tom Aspinall and Walt Harris. And I honestly don't really fault him for either of those losses. Obviously, the Walt Harris one wasn't a good look, but he got knocked out early by a very athletic guy. That can happen to anyone. In terms of his actual skill set, it's very good, you know. He doesn't rely on a knockout. Even though he's got two knockouts recently, he doesn't rely on a finish to win the fight. He can definitely win a fight by decision. He's got multiple decision wins on his record. Decision win over Carlos Felipe, that comes to mind. I watched that recently. Decision win over Alexei Olenek, where he was very smart, used good fight IQ and didn't go into Olenek's guard, didn't play on the ground like he usually does. So Spivak, he's very different to Derek Lewis, right? He'll try and get the fight on the ground. He'll try and dominate from top position. And he's actually an extremely powerful finisher when he's on top. I actually rate his wrestling pretty highly. And I actually rate his top control as one of the best in the entire UFC heavyweight division, right? I think he's extremely good on top. And I actually think he's becoming a better striker each fight he has. You know, he seems more and more comfortable in there. And he's really on a streak right now. He's obviously going to go into this fight, going to try and get the fight to the ground, right? I don't see Derek Lewis stopping the takedowns for long. I'm not necessarily going to say that Spivet's going to get him down on his first attempt because we have seen Derek Lewis show decent takedown defense in the UFC. You know, Everyone likes to think oh, Lewis is a bit of a meme and he just gets taken down and ragdolled. That's not really how it's happened in the UFC. If you go back and watch his fights, specifically against Elia Latifi, which is the last fight he got taken down in, which was a long time ago. It's like two years ago now. And people have shot on him since, but they haven't been able to get him down, right? So his last fight against Elia Latifi where he got taken down. He stuffed Ilya Latifi's takedowns for about seven minutes of that fight, you know. The whole first round, Latifi couldn't get him down. And then for about a minute into the second round, he couldn't get him down either. Then Derek got a bit tired. Latifi realized that all he had to do was body lock and trip him. And he was able to take him down multiple times after that, right? And Latifi, when he got on top, he was able to keep him down. But just sticking on Derek Luce's takedown defense... We've also seen him defend takedowns from Curtis Blades. He actually defended three takedowns from Curtis Blades. It says that on UFC stats. When I actually go back and watch the fight, it looks more like two takedown um, def defends from Derek Lewis. You know, So 
Curtis Blades is known to be one of the best wrestlers in the UFC, one of the best wrestlers in the heavyweight division at least. I don't think he's that good. I don't think he's as good a wrestler as people rate him. I actually think his, his entries can be quite sloppy. But nevertheless, he's one of the best UFC wrestlers in the heavyweight division, and he wasn't able to take Derek Lewis down, and Derek Lewis actually finished him, right? Even in the Daniel Cormier matchup, he was able to shug that Daniel Cormier off once. So I think that Derek Lewis's takedown defense is not bad. I just feel like it's not that great either, so he can definitely be taken down. And if he is if he is taken down, he's basically a fish. He's a fish out of water on his back, right? He's a fish on his back. He doesn't know what to do. Um, he doesn't really make any effort of getting up. He makes like one effort of getting up. If it doesn't work, he's just going to succumb to the top control. If it does work, then great, he gets up. I think the server Gaius Bivet's going to be able to get takedowns in this fight. Maybe not on his first or second attempt, but he will keep going for them. I think he's going to be able to stay out of trouble from Derek Lewis's big right hand, which is really all he has. Um, I guess he has a he has a kick and a switch knee as well. Spivak's going to take Lewis down at some point in the fight. He's going to establish top control and he's going to pound away. You know, and he's probably going to get a TKO from top position or potentially even a submission. You know, I'd lean more to the TKO from top position though. I will say that Derek Lewis has got up multiple times. You know, he, as I said, it, it's kind of a, a two sides of one coin because. He doesn't really know what to do from bottom, but he's so explosive when he wants to be and so powerful and such a big human that he can actually just stand up from bottom a lot of times. You know, there's that meme that goes about where it's like every time Derek Lewis fights, usually someone clips the video and they post a video of Derek Lewis showing you jiu-jitsu doesn't exist, which basically means that anytime he's on bottom, he just stands up, right? So he does that because he's very explosive. He's very strong. And he's a big man, right? He's got a lot of weight behind him. So that lends itself to being able to get up from bottom quite often in the UFC. And he even done it against Daniel Cormier. I mean, Daniel Cormier finished him in round two with a rear naked choke. But he had to take him four times. He had to take him down four times before he finished him. Elia Latifi took him down three times. He got back up every single time, finished the fight strong. Um, the other fight I mentioned, yeah, Curtis Blades, he wasn't able to get him down. So... That Derek Lewis is not good on the ground, but he does have that one explosive burst in him every time he's taken down, right? So Sergei Spivak will get takedowns here. I do expect Derek Lewis to be able to get back up to his feet once or twice, but De Sergei Spivak has really good chain wrestling. He has multiple different takedowns he can go for. I've seen him go for body locks. I've seen him go for trips. I've seen him go through go for throws. I've seen him go for single legs and double legs. So I mean, and I've seen him chain them all together. Uh, so he, he really brings that pressure when it comes to wrestling. I don't think Lewis is going to be able to defend that pressure consistently. Uh, and when he is on the ground, I do think Sergei Spivak's going to have his way with him. If Lewis does get up to his feet, which I do suspect Lewis will get up to his feet once or twice, I think he's just going to be taken down again and dominated on the ground, you know. And on the feet, I think Spivak's going to be winning on the feet too, unless he gets knocked out, right? So, I'm taking Spivak for the win. I'm taking Spivak for a TKO from top position. Um, I don't think this fight goes more than three rounds. One thing I'll just end with is that Derek Lewis does not have good cardio. He has really bad cardio. You know, he's made it clear in the past that he doesn't like fighting five round fights. Um, he's not got, got good cardio and Spivak has really, really good cardio. So I do think even if Derek Lewis is able to get up to his feet first or second round, you know, come the end of that second round, third round, and I don't even think it will go that late. Spivak's going to start to wear on him. Derek Lewis is going to start to get tired and he's just going to basically quit like he has done in multiple fights in my opinion. So I'm taking Sergei Spivak for the win. Derek Lewis has got a chance to win in every fight, you know, because he can just knock anybody out. You know, he's done it before. He knocked Curtis Blades out when he was looking like a plus 1,000 in that fight. So it's not impossible that he knocks out Sergei Spivak. As I mentioned, Spivak's been knocked out before um, twice. You know, he's not super reliable, but... I have a hard time seeing Derek Lewis win this fight if he doesn't get the knockout. And I actually even have a hard time seeing him get the knockout. So I'm taking Spivak for the finish here and I think it will come in round one or round two.